What's going on guys, my name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I thought the season six, since it's a Tuesday, I thought it was dropping today, but it's apparently dropping tomorrow on the 18th. Regardless, I wanna go over the details for season six and what we can expect. I'm gonna, I should have done these for the past couple of seasons, but with my content all over the place, I was struggling to figure out if I should do this or not. But now with it in a solid place, I can finally, you know, follow through on my original plan. Also, I, I wanted to upload Call of Duty instead of Wukong today because yes, I have more Wukong footage. However, I want to just remind people, I am a Call of Duty channel and variety. So while variety will be joining alongside Call of Duty, Call of Duty has like almost a permanent home in this channel. So if you guys do like Call of Duty content as well as variety, make sure to leave a thumbs up in the video and why not subscribe? I upload as much as I can. I try to upload every single day. Let's get started. So we have this whole Call of Duty article here. It says The Haunting Returns, full season six review, Call of Duty Mono over three. So we have a bunch of stuff here that it'll go out over obviously in the article. For war, I'll be skipping the Warzone stuff, but there's two new maps for Warzone as well as two new modes. And then we have for Mono for three, we have the drive through and Mad Cow six v6 a uh, drive-thru seems to be a brand new map whereas mad cow is a variation of meat kind of in the horror theme and then we have six shipment or five shipment variants excuse me all 6v6 we have arena shipment stay high bitment ghost ship and sunny shipment if i'm being honest aesthetically for halloween ghost shipment is looking the best i'm just gonna say it outright ghost shipment is looking fantastic but however in terms of the way i think people would want the most i'm probably gonna guess either sunny shipment or arena shipment i feel like the other i feel like bitment and stay high are just gonna be solid and i feel like ghost ship is actually gonna be really hard to see people but i think it'll look the best and then we also have some brand new weapons we have the castov lsw lmg and the dtir 3006 battle rifle we also have an aftermarket part which it, this looks like something straight out of halo in the events tab but we're gonna have another walking dead event then we're gonna have purgatory island which is something to do probably with the zombies universe within model for three then the trick-or-treat candy hunt that's probably something along the lines of like the bounty hunt thing from i believe it was last year where you run around collect medals and you get rewards based on how many medals you collect. And then the Modern Warfare 3 Rewind, which looks like we're gonna be going back to stuff previously in the game. So we do have the haunting trailer. I actually haven't seen this trailer, so this would be nice to look at. As someone who plays Dead by Daylight, seeing another game with Michael Myers is kind of sick. Let's move. Man, it looks nice. Come, hands are up. I think Call of Duty always does a good job with their events and map variants. I really hope we don't have a multiplayer mode with zombies in it. I really hope we don't. But also to fit the theme of zombies, I might, or with a, uh, fit the theme with the haunted event more so. They'll probably have some zombies challenges. I'll probably end up doing, playing some zombies in this game. Just to fit the theme and go back to it and see how I feel if I still don't like it or not. That ghost was creepy and so was that guy right there. Yeah, the, the smile shit is... I mean, yeah, it's all just creepy. Not scary by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just creepy. If that's the in-game model, I know they said it's not actual footage, but if that's the in-game model. Does anyone read me? That's the in-game model for alone. That is gonna be one of the worst skins to run. It'll be fun, but also kind of silly. And now we're gonna have a new core map as well as six new map variants. We're gonna have a drive-through. It's a brand new small size 6v6 map. This is giving me, if this map wasn't so creepy, this would remind me of, I think it's drive-through from Black Ops 1. It was a remade in Black Ops Cold War. This will be nice to see. I'm hoping that it's not one of these maps where everybody just starts running like all black skins again and we they just hide because that was a serious issue on shipment with the Gaia skin and other things of that nature then we have mad cow the 6v6 variant of meat it looks like it's overfilled with water I'm curious to know how much this water like impacts gameplay 
Like, does this add extra sound to people's footsteps? Therefore, the map plays a little worse. It definitely seems horror themed. Like, there's blue light everywhere. There's more horror aspects to it and such. It looks promising to, like, definitely 100% in terms of the, for the haunting event. I will go try my best to play all these map variants at least over the next couple days and then get videos out to show you guys. But overall, it looks solid. I, I mean, it's probably, it's just meat. It's gonna flow the same, except it has water. So we'll see. Then we have five new shipment variants. So I guess I'm gonna show them all here yet. We have arena shipment, which I think arena shipment is gonna be honestly just the most bare bones shipment with our even more bare bones than the shipment we have today. I'm sure people will vote this, but this is definitely not gonna be the thing that people go to the most, I think, in terms of the new variants for shipment. And then we have stay high. So this one looks like it has the blocks all over the place. And it looks like a, another version of the get high game mode we had for a while. I made a video on get high, but I never listed it up. So if you guys do want to see that, you know, I can publicize the video. It would be down farther in the videos, but I never actually ended up publishing my video on get high but this map looks gorgeous to say i like the vibrant colors i'm very happy with it and then ghost ship is the one i'm looking forward to as a humongous doom eternal fan i really do like like when the demonic stuff comes out when it comes down to halloween or anything like that and this is definitely no exception you can see the satanic circle kind of in the middle you can see the inscriptions on the walls and everything it looks cool i really like it i think this is my, again in my opinion the best looking map very much excited. i believe all of these will be coming on launch and we have some Sunny shipment. Literally the shipment we have, but in the daytime. Thank you. I genuinely wanted this. I think we've been playing the same shipment for far too long, and them adding shipment variants at least gives us something different to look at. And then we have multiplayer modes. We have Horde Point, Mutation, Infected, and Arcade. Uh, so I guess it's going over Horde Point first, which is Hard Point with Zombies. I'm not playing this. I play, when I play Zombies, is when I want to fight the Zombies. When I play multiplayer, I want to fight players. And then we have Arcade. Arcade returns enhancing operators with abilities like increased height and the ability to ground slam opponents. You can buy weapons with increased effect like the Moors will have extra knockback and so on and so forth. Uh, I'll probably try this for a video. Looking forward to trying something new, something fun, something not serious. And we have Mutation. I actually have no idea what this is. It says, embrace the change, no matter how unnatural. With the return of Mutation mode, take turns playing as a team of humans or mutants in a mosh pit of modes. Human operators spawn with increased ammo reserves and can earn kill streaks to help fight back the mutant threat. Mutants forego traditional loadouts for one of four unique classes. You have the Leaper. Leap at your enemies and become enraged, gaining faster movement and speed and melee damage along with the ability to detect enemies around corners, toss a snapshot to reveal foes, radioactive beast, charge your enemies as a half dog, half demon, all to improve the health and movement speed of your allies, and, or use enhanced senses to reveal enemies on the minimap. Contaminated slugger obscures the sight lines with a smoke grenade and can attack enemies from close range acid blasts that leave pools on the ground and slow its victims. Explode in a large radius of mutant sludge, taking your foes down with you. And then we have the camouflage sneaker. Become partially invisible and stun and slow enemies with a lethal enemy project energy projectile. When it's time to break stealth and attack, scramble at your enemies with an electric leap. This seems like it could be interesting. And it says, mutants who amass a high elimination count may even get the chance to pursue their targets as the monstrous mutant juggernaut. So this, uh, this seems interesting. I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, okay having increased ammo versus all four of these variants you could potentially play as as a mutant feel like playing as humans is not going to uh benefit very well i feel like mutants might steamroll depending on how good the the humans are we'll see and then we have infected if you don't know what infected is it's one person is infected they go around meleeing throwing knifing people and you go till there's no one left and then we have multiplayer ranked i'm not gonna i'm not concerned about i don't play ranked in this game i played it for a little bit i got to gold after like two weeks maybe a week um of playing like an hour a day or two or something like that so i just kind of i don't touch it then join the zombie celebration to celebrate the final season of modern warfare zombies as a thank you to all our zombies players we're pumping up the fun with two major season long advantages first all operators will access the free dark aether rifts for free after completing the initial mission that unlocks them without the need to offer up a sigil and all schematics will recover twice as quickly as someone who's just playing zombies to camel grind I don't care too much about the schematics. I also don't really care about doing the Dark Aether Rift runs. I might try and do one towards the end of, like, within the last maybe two or three weeks. I might try and do something like this because I have a feeling that once Black Ops 6 comes out, the vast majority of Zombies players are going to jump off of Modern Warfare Zombies and into Black Ops 6 Zombies. We have Warzone stuff, which, again, I'm not going to cover too much. I'm going to go very briefly. Um, you have a new Rebirth Island variant called Hellspawn Map. It looks nice. Very much what I want to see out of my haunting and Zombies alien even-esque theme and it's showing just the different landmarks so you've got the purgatory great honestly i'm not even gonna not even gonna lie then you have the haunting vondal knight in zombies royale so it looks like i'm gonna be honest i don't know what this is this looks like it would be a multiplayer map but i guess this is also a warzone map vondal at nighttime that's it this, they didn't do anything special they just made it night probably the most disappointing change on this list so far and then call of duty warzone modes 
It's a limited time mode on launch. It's called Purgatory. Okay, we have weapon. Here are the weapons we will have access to as well. We'll have the battle rifle on launch in a in sector six of the battle pass, the DTIR 3060. Eliminate long range threats with a slow firing, hard hitting battle rifle chambered with 0 0.30-06 rounds. I guess this looks like a standard like battle rifle, a small mag. It probably shoots slow, but like three taps most likely. Probably two taps if you get a headshot or two. I'll be going for the mastery camo on this. I haven't gone for the mastery camo on a lot of my weapons, but I need to. So I'm probably going to be doing that for probably the rest of the year. So because I can't finish the falling card grind, but I can at least get the ever. I can at least get uh borealis and or sorry i can probably get interstellar and maybe borealis for the rest of the guns then we have the cast off lsw this is available in sector nine it says with the best unclassed fire rate and attack stance accuracy this lmg was crafted to tear enemies through at short to medium range you're going to be able to do the side grip and you're not going to raise the gun sideways like you would you'll actually i bet you'll pull it up and you'll hold it kind of like this so it's not fully in your sight but it's kind of zoomed in i think it's i remember i don't remember the lmg that did that i think it's the chainsaw from ghost that is what this is reminding me of right now with this little description then we have the after market parts oh okay i kind of like this what is this it says complete weekly challenges to earn three six, season six aftermarket parts including an explosive modification to the cat amr sniper rifle as well as the pressurized magazine that fires three ballistic rivets on the mx guardian shotgun that's what this is and then we, so we have the jack salvo it goes on like cat amr sniper uh a sniper modification that fires anti-material explosive rockets that deal significant explosive damage okay rockets might be a bit of a stretch so I'll be trying this. I don't know if it's going to be any good. We'll see. We have the Jack Volt Storm, which is a buff for the Storm Ender. High voltage electricity is siphoned through copper coils and discharged in a lethal bolt capable of hitting multiple targets. So this is turning your launcher that no longer does any damage to people into a potentially railgun destroying weapon. So the Storm Ender might actually be really fucking good at doing a lot of shit now. And then we also have the Jack Lance on the MX shotgun, which is this image right here. It's going to fire ballistic rivets at three at a time. So might have to make a video on all of those. I don't know yet. And then we have the battle, we have the battle pass, which I mean, everything is pretty self-explanatory with the battle pass at this point. This is what it's going to look like. I tried to open this image as a new tab and it wouldn't let me, but this is what the battle pass will look like. So yeah, all the way over here on the right, connecting to nothing, you'll get an LMG and then going up to the left and doing everything else will be the DMR. So it seems like you get Michael Myers the second you buy the battle pass. We'll obviously have a black cell for alone. And then at the very end, some Fara skin, it looks like. So we shall see how that goes. Overall, pretty standard battle pass. Nothing to really write home about. We can see the weekly and mastery camos animated for Moment for Three and Zombies. It just looks like, again, it just looks creepy. It doesn't, at least it's animated. You can't say that. A couple of them haven't been animated. At least this is animated, so. And then here we have the new prestige icons. I'm not someone to grind specifically to hit max level. On a Call of Duty, I typically just keep playing. If I hit max level, awesome. I want to hit this level 1250. I'm currently level 800 and some change. Change. I got like 400 levels to go through before the end of the year. So I got a lot of Call of Duty to play. So outside of streams, I'm pretty much only going to be playing Call of Duty. But I, I like how we finally went away from this gold and we went into this silver and blue. It looks great. And then we have the prestige camo on launch. It's called Constellations End. So you earn one trick, which is 150,000 XP. You then need to earn an additional 200,000 EXP to get one trick uh, to get a um, Mountain Obsidian. So that's a total of 350,000 EXP. You then to get Mercury have to earn an additional 250,000 on top of that is 600k and then to get constellations end which is this right here 300,000 exp on top of that they want you to earn 900,000 exp on one weapon they want they are calling I'll, I'll be honest i love call of duty but calling this replay value is i just i don't know i feel like giving people insane goals where call of duty is the only game you can play if you want to earn everything is a bit much and then we have the events which i mean we have the haunting then we have the which will last for our entire month pretty much till halfway through october then we'll have the walking dead which will be september 25th to october 2nd we have the trick-or-treat candy hunt from october 2nd to october 16th then we have september 25th to october 16th the purgatory island and war zone and then Mono Warfare 3 Rewind will be October 9th to October 16th. And they tell us literally nothing. They give us some details on everything else, but this Rewind. So this Rewind is going to be interesting. October 9th. But that's everything for the new Season 6 update that will be coming out tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up in the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also lets me know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Gia signing out. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.